Jay, how much, how, uh, what's your participation level here in this camp? What are you participating in? Yeah, I'm participating in everything. I mean, I've been being out here with the guys, you know, just out here competing. So it's been real fun, you know, just being out here for the first couple of days of camp. There's been speculation you're banged up. What's your health level at? What are you doing right now? Um, nothing. I'm, I'm participating. So you're healthy, good to go, full go right now? Yeah, I'll be good. I'm good right now. I'll be good. What is your comfort? What is your comfort level with the offense after a year working in it? Oh, I feel a lot more comfortable. It's really easy, you know. I know a lot more route concepts and stuff, so like I understand where everyone's going, the spacing and stuff. Even what the old line's doing, I'm able to get that down now. So it's been a lot easier just trying to get everything, like understand where people are going to be and how I need to set up blockers. It's been a lot easier. I think I asked you about this during spring ball a little bit. Um, but now that you've had all that time out of the full offseason and whatnot, have you noticed a change in that old line under Coach Woods and kind of what they're doing? I don't know if scheme wise or just like mentality, anything like that. Have you noticed any changes in that old line? Yeah, I've seen the mentality change. You know, they're out there. They're a lot nastier, meaner, you know, and that's a good thing. You know, they've been out there making plays and, you know, just getting blocks. And, you know, it feels like they're getting into the combos quicker, which is good for us. And, you know, they're just out there really competing and getting the job done. So I'm grateful for that. Good news for you running behind me? Oh, yes, sir. Of course. What's it like working with the quarterbacks, Jake and Gary in particular, as they battle for QB1? Um, I mean, we just work with them all the time, you know. It's, I mean, we don't really see a difference. We're just out there competing with them. So, you know, it's nothing to us. You know, we're just out there trying to make the plays. And, yeah. What did Coach Unga lay out, or Unga lay out for you as far as the competition at running back? Is it, are you and battling for that number one spot or is it your job to take what, what do you kind of lay out for you as far as expectations this camp yeah um we didn't go over that we're just out here competing um you know we don't really care i mean we feel all seven of us in the room right now we feel like whoever's back there is going to get the job done so we we honestly don't care who gets the job or what's going on i mean whoever gets it i mean shoot they got the ability to make plays so we're happy with whoever how nice is it to have Ian Creek back in the room and back at practice? We see him making some cuts and make some plays out, out here. Just how nice is it to have him back fully? And he looks like he's, if not 100%, pretty close, right? Yeah, he, he's he's been, you know, putting in the work and stuff. You know, I see him every day. I've been following him around. So, you know, just seeing him put in the work every day, you know, I mean, I'm just happy to see him out there, you know, competing and stuff. So, you know, it helps a lot, you know, just having the veteran presence too. He's been that down here for about four years, I believe. So, you know, he knows how things go, how the offense is. So it's really a help to all of us, the younger guys, to have him out here with us. Yep. Is there any, any new wrinkles in this offense this year? Um, yeah, there's a lot of new wrinkles. You know, um, you guys will have to see them game one. But, I mean, shoot, yeah, it's a, it's a lot different. Coach was about a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see what, he, so we, see what we're capable of. What do you feel like the offense is different right now versus the end of the season? Like? Um, I mean, we're still installing stuff, so it's hard to kind of get into that. But, you know, I just feel like as far as the player standpoint, I feel like everyone's more on point and everyone's more in sync together. You know, everyone understands where they're going, what they're trying to do, and what we're trying to accomplish each play. You mentioned Coach Woods. He's got that run game coordinator title. How has that changed things just to have him focused in on that? Yeah, um, he helps us out a lot, you know, just trying to find each each like each tiny detail, trying to help us learn in every kind of way and, you know, just making sure all of us are on the same page, the running backs, tight ends, quarterbacks, receivers and O line. A year ago you were a freshman in the group. This year there's a lot of talented freshmen in your in the running back room. What what advice have you given to the to the other freshmen to kinda of help them get up to speed and, and pick up like you were able to at the start of last season? Yeah, just play freely, you know. I mean, it's just the game at the end of the day. It's, I mean, whatever happens, happens, you know. Just go out there, have fun, and just play. It's the same game that we've play, been playing since we were little, so it's no big deal. How much of an impact has Coach Woods made on this, shaping this run game and what it's going to look like in 2024? Yeah, he's helped a lot, um, you know, just having meetings with us all the time and, you know, just having, having his own input and just bringing all the coaches in play. It's going to be real fun. One of those youngsters you were talking about, uh, Poke. I heard he's got a new nickname from you guys. You're calling him Glitch. Oh you yeah. That? Where'd that come from? Yeah, uh, you know he just be doing stuff. And he just like a glitch in the system. So yeah, he just be doing. I mean, yeah, he just be doing stuff. Like sometimes the way he gets up is like through a handstand, and it's just yeah, he just crazy. 
Has he broken out a backflip yet? He did that a little bit in high school. Excuse right? me? Has he broken out a backflip yet? He did that some in high school. Oh, yeah. He's he just doing stuff. I'm telling you, he just be doing stuff. So, yeah, we got to be careful with him. You know, we don't want him getting hurt. So, yeah.